All right, guys, one of the coolest times of the year is right here, right now. It's called the Shad Spawn, and it's a crazy deal that takes place late spring, early, early summer. Through the southeast, it's generally mid-April to late April. This generally happens all through the country right after the bass spawn. It's funny how Mother Nature works. As soon as the bass get done spawning, they're completely exhausted. They don't want to chase, use a lot of energy to chase bait. All of a sudden, boom, the food's right there in front of their face. Super cool shad spawn. Man, it can be some of the best fishing you will ever experience, but you got to have a couple things lined up. All right, A, you got to get up bright and early because the shad spawn lasts at the maximum one hour. What's going on is those bait fish are spawning at nighttime, and basically we catch the tail end of that first thing in the morning. Second thing you want to look for, mother nature. All sorts of birds, okay? I'm talking egrets, herons, um, any kind of, your, you know, your turns, bait, uh, birds diving down into the water, things like that. That's what you want to look for, okay? And then second, you need to, or third, lastly, you need to know the right habitat in which to look for um, shad spawning. So let's talk a little bit about that. I like to look marinas, docks, floating docks especially, um, in my fisheries that don't have docks. Shad love spawning around grass. You'll see them around mats, highest mat, primrose mats, all different types of mats. They'll spawn around that. Uh, here in Alabama, around the Coosa River especially, they get on that bank grass. They'll spawn in that bank grass. They need to be on something. They prefer hard cover, but in the fisheries that you don't have hard cover, they'll spawn on grass. Uh, they got to do it somewhere. They'll make it happen. Okay. I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite baits when I'm chasing the shad spawn fish. You don't have to overcomplicate this. Uh, obviously, you need to be mimicking the shad. And basically, I just set out in two different mind things, mindsets. I'm looking for dirty water condition baits, clear water condition baits. That's it. I'm not going to get carried away in all these different baits, etc. I'm just looking for these two colors. Once I dial in, either I'm fishing stained water or clear water, boom, I make an easy bait selection and we go from there. All right, I got my, my dog out here today, old Muffy, the fur ball, okay? First time on a boat for it. But anyway, back to the baits for the shad spawn. The first bait I'm gonna grab, when I know I'm fishing for shad spawn fish, the very first bait is not gonna be the fur ball. It's gonna actually be a chatter bait and or swim jig, okay? Two different scenarios, easy to cast. You can skip both of these great. So when you're fishing overhang, bushes, skipping underneath docks, these two baits right here for sure get it done, okay? Chowder bait, swim jig. Heavier cover, obviously I'm gonna choose the swim jig unless I'm throwing a weedless chowder bait like this guy right here, the Project Z. This is an excellent choice for coming through wood if you just have to throw a chowder bait. Um, I really like a swim jig, but there's times when the water's so dirty that neither of those will work. And in that event, man, this is the forgotten about bait, I feel like. It's just an old fashioned spinner bait, man. You don't see guys throwing this a ton anymore. Um, a spinner bait's another great selection for shad spawn fishing. This one right here just happens to be an orange kicker blade for dirty, dirty water scenarios, but then I also got my tandem willow leaf uh, for clear water scenarios. A great bait, you can cover a lot of water and move really quick. Let's talk hard baits, because everybody Loves throwing a hard bait. I mean, I got several here. We got rattle traps. I got walking baits. Um, and then, of course, I got diving baits. All you'll notice in shad colors. Dirty water, clear water. Still, we're sticking with the theme. We're not going to throw any green pumpkins. We're not throwing reds. We're not doing any of that. We are completely focused in on shad. Um, on my swim jigs, I get asked a lot for recommendations on trailers. I keep it very, very, very simple, okay? I throw one of two trailers. I'm either throwing, 99% of the time I'm throwing this guy right here. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you guys see me throw swim jigs a lot. Every time, what do I have on it? This guy right here, a turbo crawl, a Z-Man turbo crawl. This is an excellent bait, which is actually a crawfish style bait. So you got two kicking style legs on this right here, right? That swims beautifully through the water. What's cool with this bait, you can also turn it sideways, okay? So now you got these kicker legs and they're kicking vertically instead of horizontally. You can do either or. The bait certainly skips better flat. So if I know I'm gonna be skipping, I'm not gonna fish it like that. But you can put it both on a chowder bait and a swim jig just like that. Uh, and it matches up really, really good. The other style 
trailer that I'm going to use is some sort of swim bait trailer. So this is a razor shad, but I also like to throw my diesel minnows, boot tail style baits, things like that. Uh, and, the, and the color selections are going to always remain very simplistic. A little bit of stain in the water, I'm going with white. Water's relatively clear, I'm going to choose this guy. It's real natural, it's called Bad Shad, real natural color bait right here. And it, you don't have to overcomplicate it, it gets it done. So those are just a few baits, some of the scenarios and places that I look for shad to be spawning because you can, you know, a lot of times you can overcomplicate it, uh, but it doesn't need to be that complicated. The number one thing you need to look for when looking for a shad spawn are birds, okay? Birds, birds, birds. They're taking complete advantage of the fact that these fish are up on the bait, flickering and carrying on. They're going to sit there and they're going to be ambushing them. And what's going to be right there behind them birds and right in the mix with them? Yeah, you got it. Largemouth bass. Something. Again, you don't need to overcomplicate the shad spawn. Figure out where they're, where they're spawning. Pay attention to Mother Nature. Look for birds. That's the number one thing you need to do. And sure, there's several other baits that I didn't mention that you could catch them on. But that's how I get started. Those are the first few baits that I like to grab. You guys get out there. Make sure you're early. Find that shad spawn and smash on these fish in that post-spawn, that early post-spawn, early summer. Some of the best days you'll have all year.